Hey there, Heather Hill there. It's Jeff Cutter Diary. Welcome you to quarterfinal action of the early 2000s final tour of 2023 at Great Holes Number One Course. We have a battle of four Americans and four British golfers. Finally, the thing is, it's U.S. versus Scotland or U.S. versus England. So, the quarterfinals are Sean Michel, who shocked Tiger yesterday against Harry Barden, the man who's on the name of the PGA Tour's lowest scoring average. Uh, for the year winner. Allie Robertson, who had a 59 and won the first, who won a tournament last year, taking on Phil Mickelson, lefty, who has a second place finish last tournament in November and wants to turn it into a first place. Chris Riley, who's making some big moves. He faces Jack White, who's a two time runner up, who's trying to turn that into a first place tournament win. And James Braid takes on Scott for Plank in the fourth quarter final. The winner of this tournament will go straight to Augusta for the year-end tournament. Second place will be in the second chance tournament, which we will cover on Sunday. Now, it's important to note that if Mickelson or White does win, then their second places get eliminated. We could potentially have to add a few more players in to set up second chance qualifiers. But anyway, yeah, we'll have all that. We'll talk about the Final Four's run to the with the bracket tomorrow, as we always do. We are doing the Robertson Mickelson match because you know Robertson last year went to the tournament based on his 59, and Mickelson is trying to get into the tournament automatically and not have to rely on a second chance tournament, although he might be okay. Any quarterfinal after Robertson Mickelson that will still be on will be made as bonus coverage. We are focusing mainly on Robertson and Mickelson. Um, Robertson with those muffin chucks. Nice shot in the middle at Royal Melbourne, 270. Phil Mickelson. He will go a little left center, 276. Step shots. Nickels it up. Mickelson, he's got something. Robertson. Up and over. Ooh. We'll try to pitch this one up. And nicely done. That's not that bad. Two yards away. So six feet away. Mickelson. Right there. Puts pressure on Robertson to make a shot. Which he does. I really think he was going to miss. He's going to miss. You're flying. Second hole. Robertson. Ooh. Crossed the barrier, but he went far right. So he went up to the water. Mickelson. Uh oh, same thing. He's hit the what the second shot. Well, second, okay, third. Uh oh, is that the river bank? River bank, more like CIBC bank. Robertson. He's on the green, so he might have a bit of a chance. Mickelson for the hole. Mickelson's going to make his bogey. He misses. And Robertson will take the hole. Because bogey beats double bogey any day of the week. Rock, paper, scissors. Robertson leads on three at Royal County Boone. Right down the middle-ish is Mickelson. So he goes that. Three and five. Second shots. Robertson. Now, this course is known for its knockdown wins, meaning that, you know, the the balls are not going to get onto the green in regulation. It doesn't matter if you can get third or part. All you have to do is beat your beat the score of your opponent. He does that. Oh, Mickelson, that sounded a little fat. And with the F. For the part? Nope. Robertson has a chance. Go two up. Not going to miss that chance. So Robertson. So Mickelson, at worst, would have to go to that second chance qualifier. But there's a chance. Six out of... 12 or 6 out of 10. Look out. I think it might be 6 out of 10. Hole 2. Mickelson. Both him and Robertson does make that green in regulation. Birdie. Short by 3. Now can Robertson make it 3 up? He overshoots it. And we are tied. Robertson. Right down the right center. That's not bad. Nicholson.
Nicholson. There's that. Robertson up. Second shot. He will lay up to 105 for his third shot. Mickelson, nicely done, right down the middle. He has a 40-yard chip shot on his third of this part five. Robertson! Ooh. Let's see what Mickelson can do. Can he get close? Ooh, that didn't sound good. You would think that he had the better chip. Oh, double floor. Nice shot by Robertson. Mickelson has to make his shot. Which he doesn't. Wow. And Robertson's right on the nose. He's up by three with five to play. Five down, 13 to go. Robertson at the bell three. And six. Nicholson. Left center. Okay. Up and over. Ooh. That didn't sound good. Robertson, can he be calm, cool, and collective? I think so. Up and over. Well, he's going to be close. He'll need Robertson to miss his 10-footer. Which he does. Nicholson better make his par putt. He will. Robertson will make his par putt. Fortunately, though, he still has a 3-up lead. It could have been 4. Now on to Oakland in the 7th. Look out. He hit the bunker. Not the long bunker, but a bunker. Nicholson does not hit a bunker. I don't know if that really is a good shot. Time will tell. Look at the... Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Robertson. And look at that. Nicely done by Robertson. Nicholson should be able to make his shot. Get back. So they'll tie on seven. Now, if any of the three matches are still in progress after Robertson-Nicholson does end, then it'll be bonus coverage. All the matches will be bonus coverage. In fact, both semis and finals will be televised. Of course, now Mickelson, a little left, he'll have to angle. And he splashes into the middle. Robertson? Same. But that's okay. Let's see where his shot is right there. That's a good shot. Mickelson? Up and over. He's there. Or par. You missed. Mickelson, a chance to win a hole. You're back. Mickelson's first hole of the day, I believe. So Mickelson's won a hole. Trying to come back from three down and win this match. It has happened before. Someone came back from four down. I can't remember who. But yeah. Right down the pike is Robertson. Had somebody in his home native land, Scotland. Up and over. Curl. Okay, that's okay. Mickelson. Up and... Oh. Not good. Couldn't get on the green. We'll do that and we'll spin pass for a 10-yard shot. For the hole. Oh, he just missed. Mickelson for par. I did miss. Aye, aye, aye. Robertson now takes a three-up lead headed to the back nine. So he's trying to knock off Mickelson, put him in the second place tourney no matter what happens, and maybe win one for himself, a trip to Augusta. Whoa, oh, whoa. Uh, heavy rough, but hey, you know what? At least it's not around. Look at that shot by Allen. He's 12 feet away. Mickelson, can he get close? Can he get close, close, close? Fuck. For Boyd. Oh, table topped it, meaning he just missed. Robertson, a chance to go by four? No. Robertson missed a chance to go four up with nine, eight to play, excuse me. Under 11. The, the Michelle match is on number 12, if you must know, then 11, then the Jack White match is number 10, and then some the other four, four finals on number nine, the first blank one. That's how it goes. Robertson will not get on the green in two. Mickelson. Up and over. Nice that. Robertson. And he puts it in. Unbelievable. What a shot. What a shot to put it in. So now he's four up with 
put them into play. That page. That's the bunker. Eggleson. Well, he doesn't hit the bunker. But sure the three and Robertson, nice job to get within a few feet. Nicholson does that. He's gonna be farther away. Or far. Buddy puts it in. Robertson should be able to make the shot. He does. To have the hole. On a 13. And Augusta, Nicholson will have to do better than that. Up and over. Name of the game. Ooh. Okay, he got lucky. Nicholson sees red, so he's allowed to spin round, which he does. I would think he would be a little more aggressive, but you know what? You don't want to be too aggressive, and then you're down by five with five to play, and it's basically lights out. You want Robertson to make a mistake. Well, that's not a mistake. For Boyd. Overshot, Nicholson, Robertson, puts it in. So he goes up by five anyhow. So Nicholson has to win 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 to force a playoff. Any hole, Robertson plays shot for shot with Nicholson. He will win, knock Nicholson out of the tournament, and Robertson will go to the semifinals. It doesn't mean Nicholson's time is over. Nicholson will be in that second chance tournament. In which basically if you lead after the first, second or third rounds, you're definitely one of the three wild cards to be in. And then total score determines your standing as the three other guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I thought he had it. He had it. I thought he had just put it in and now for, back, for the batch. Nope. He gets the par. Mickelson would get par. Robertson crushes Mickelson. Five and four. We'll have to take a look at the quarterfinals. Yeah, we'll take a look at the quarterfinals, like the line scores, after all the matches are done. So now everyone else is in. Chris Riley won up through 12, trying to upset Jack White and put him into the runner up tournament for good. See what Riley does. Second shot's coming up. Wait, is he in the water? He is in the water. Riley, just get over the water. He doesn't. He had a chance to do that, and then he'll he'll have a good chance to go up by two with five to go. White snuggles up very close to the pin. Riley will do the same thing, and so I think we have a tie. We do. So Riley still went up. On to 12. James Braid of Scotland, one up on for Plank. Braid near the end of that bunker. I know that mustache looks terrible and all that. Anyway, here's for Plank. For Plank, up and five yards away. Braid, can you come close? He will be closer, but not too close. For Park. Miss, Braid has a chance to go up by two. Dig it. And we have a tie. Michelle and Barden are tied after 15. Man, Sean Michelle can freaking win this tournament. Let's see what he does on the 16. Does he hit the rocks? No, he doesn't. That's good news for him. Barden. He's on the green, so they both will not go out of bounds. For Boyd. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Very fired in. He's an icon. He's an icon for a reason. Michelle will have to do the same thing. Oh, man, he was close. And so as of right now, it would be three out of the top, three out of the four would be from the British Isles, as they call it. With Chris Riley being the only American, because Robertson's already won. Farden's winning, and so is Sprague. So yeah, so it would be three out of four. We would at least see one Scottish person? Yeah. Or no. No, sorry. Riley, this is group three. So Riley would fake. So if everything falls apart, falls in place. Barden will face Robertson, which means we will have either an Englishman or a Scott in the final guarantee. And it'll be up to Bray to see. Oh, wow. How did he botch that shot? That is going to be a terrible shot at Pacific Dunes. What a terrible mistake. Riley? 
we'll table pop it, but I think he's safe. Yeah, he's safe. He's only one away. And Chris Riley is now two up with four to play. Well, Braid's up by two, so it would be Riley versus Braid, and the winner would be the most unlikely finalist, if you will, of the two. Barton and Robertson would be a good matchup. I think Barton did qualify last year, right? I think so. Up and over. Oh! He almost got away with it. And Scott for Plank will do that. Scott for Plank will stay out of the water. So that's good news. For the hole. He's going to be a two footer. So for Plank will win the hole and cut the deficit down to one with five to go. On to 17 at St. Andrews. If Barton wins, on 17, it's over. A tie or we shall win means we will see at 18. Oh, not a, good, not a good start. He missed the fairway. Up and over. Ooh. Can Barton get on the green in two? Does he hit the bunker? No, but he's got in line. He's got to miss that bunker. Look at and Michelle does that. Barton, he's got to have a good pitch shot. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. He flipped it for par. Michelle misses. Got a good lob by Barton. For bogey. Oh, he missed. And Michelle will tie her up. We go to 18. Can Sean Michelle pull off back-to-back -back gigantic wins? He took out Tiger. Can he take out Barton? Riley hits the bunker, which isn't good. Jack White, he goes into the rough. Now can he get close? He can. And Riviera. Riley, Riley. Okay, that's a decent shot. For Boyd. Overshot. For Park. He misses, and now White has a chance to win the ball back. He does. So he's cut the deficit down to one. On to Braden for plank at Pacific Dunes. Left setter for, for plank for 307. Great. Oh, 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 oh. Lucky duck. That was headed close to being disastrous, and for plank, we have a golden chance to the match. I guess that. 48 feet. The rule is 60, so he has to putt. No lagging. Okay. For play for the hole. Oh, he just missed. That would have been huge. He would have tied the match before to go. On 18, Michelle and Farden. If anyone wins this hole, it's over. A tie means we go to extras. These guys are looking pretty confident in themselves. Just avoid the left side. That's what Barton does. He's on the green. Michelle. Oh. And he does that for the match. Barton. Oh man, by a foot. Michelle for Birdie. Got it. Big birdie. But because that means we go to extra holes in this matchup. The winner will face Alan Robertson. Guaranteed. Here's White on 16. He missed. Can Riley pull this one off? No, he can't. At least not yet. Riley is in the rocks. Oh, yes, here we take it. He. Ugh. That's a mistake. He'll need a mistake. White avoids the rocks, so he's kind of got the advantage to tie the match. For triple. Got it. Well, White better make this shot. He does, because it would have been a tie. So Jack White's tied her up. Riley having a chance to pull off a major upset of Jack White. Up, 86. 81. Up and over. Wow, that was a terrible shot by for Plank. Braid. 
he moves up and he's six feet away. For plank, that didn't seem, that sounded a little chunky, chunky salsa for park. I had a mistake on that one. Braid, six footer, got it. He would have got it anyway. So James Braid is almost certain to make it to the semifinals. Now Michelle and Farden going to extra holes. And Michelle with a giant miss. Can Farden take advantage? If all went right yesterday, it would have been Farden versus Tiger. Then it would be the matchup I would definitely do because, you know, it's we'll do. Up and over. So Sean Michelle may have blown a golden chance to play back-to-back -back giant scalps. Sean Michelle made a giant miss and Farden will take advantage and Harry Farden sends the upset-minded Sean Michelle out. It will be a England Scotland semifinal. Farden versus Robertson. And I believe they they both went to the tournament last year, so they're trying to get closer. Jack White tied with Chris Riley. Well Braid is winning his match. So if White wins his match, we will have three Scots in the Brit. And you'd be thinking, well that's as unusual. Usually America dominates. You're right. But the Earl, like the golfers from before 1940, there are some American icons. Oh, oh, oh. Nice job by Riley. He's on the green. He avoids that bunker. Big one. He went over the bunker. Up and over. Nah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Riley's 68. He's allowed to lag. Because it's more than 60 feet, he's allowed to lag. Not a bad idea for par. White misses, and now Riley has a chance to take the lead. He does. So Chris Riley is backed up by one with one more hole. Here's Braid on 16. That didn't even come close. Looking for plank. Stay dry. Oh, just at the last second. That's new life for Braid. Ah, oh, he hit the rocks in. Braid, if he can stay dry, he does, and he stays out of the rocks. So that is probably the death blow for Fur Plank. He was hoping for a giant win. Braid, James Braid, I think he's safe. Oh, come on. You really think he's going to miss a shot? He doesn't. And James Braid takes down Scott Fur Plank. Three and two. So Braid is in. So we are down to one guy. If Chris Riley can win this match, It'll be Chris Riley versus James Braid. It will be a big matchup to see because whoever wins that one will be kind of the underdog, if you will. All Riley's going to do is hold his nerve. Oh my God, he didn't hold his nerve. Jack White has a chance to tie the match and send it to the 19th, Riley. Did he blow a golden chance to go to the semifinals and a chance to go to Augusta? I think he did. He's got to come close with his shot. White to force a playoff. No. Second chance. He missed. And Chris Riley. Whoa. White had a two. Jack White had two chances to tie the match. And he botched it. Wow. So we have two Scots, an American and a Brit, and an Englishman, I should say, in the semifinals. Let's take a look at the line scores. Michelle and Farden, well, Michelle was up by one after 11 holes, but Farden won back to back holes, and then Michelle won on 15 to tie the match. Farden won on 16 to go up by one, then Michelle on 17 tied, 18 they both birdied, and then on 19, Farden with that great par, Michelle, his nerve failed him. Alan Robertson crushing Phil Mickelson, only conceding on eight to Mickelson. Lusty will have to go to the second chance qualifier. Chris Riley and Jack White. Riley was up by two with seven. He was up by two with four to play. He botched 15 and 16. But thankfully on 17, his smart play and White's big putting mistake 
led to Riley winning the hole, and then on 18, White had two chances to tie the match and send it to extras, but didn't. And Chris Riley wins, and James Braid, the Scot. He was up by two after seven holes, lost on eight and nine, then won on 10 and 12. And then for Plank, made it close, but on 15 and 16, Braid won. So, Emma Williams, Harry Barton, and Alan Robertson will be in one semifinal, the second semifinals. Chris Riley and James Braid, both of them will be televised. Whoever wins Barton and Robertson will be the heavy favorite to take down either Riley or Braid, but you never know what could happen. And Chris Riley is the only golfer from the 2000s still around. The other three are from the earlys. So this is going to be impressive. So Jack White and Phil Mickelson will both have to go to the second chance qualifier, but thankfully they did get their spots. So, so we know we'll have a new first place and a new second place golfer no matter what happens. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond Ardu.